Ons gaan kyk vir ons elfs na ons hyperbool en ons vir exponentiële funksie, soos wat ons hulle onthou van graad 10 af, onthou ons standaard funksie van ons hyperbool was i is gelijk aan a op x plus q, that was the standard equation for the hyperbola, and the standard equation for the exponential function was y equals ab to the power of x plus q. Ons het nou gaan kyk uit die vorige lesse, hoe beinvloed a en q ons funksies, en ons het het aangespreek, and now we gonna move it to the left or to the right. Kyk wat gebeur wanneer ons beweging links of rechts maak. We gaan insert underneath the division line a parameter minus p by the hyperbool. As ek a minus p bys het, dan skuif hy om p eenhede na rechts. p units to the right. We go see to minus. So, if you look at the example of example over the over here, we see that our a value is minus six. That betekent is a negative hyperbola. Our q value equals zero, so I can op of af geskuif nie. En ons p waarde is plus twee. Dit beteken hy beweeg twee eenhede na links because it's positive. So a negative tells me p units to the right and a positive tells me p units to the left. Okay, very, very important. So when we are now here, we can take Then we can now see Ons hyperbool, that's the guy with the two asymptotes. It didn't move up or down because our q value is zero. So my horizontale asymptote is nog steeds, i is gelijk van 0, that's my x x, because it didn't move up or down. But in this case, it moved two units to the right, no, to the left, because it's positive to the left, two units to the left, so my y x, this guy, x equals zero, moved the asymptote, the y x, moved two units to the left, and that equals x equals minus two. That is now my vertical, a new vertical asymptote. So as I my function gaan teken, dis a minus ookie, dan gaan I nou hier le, and it can lie here somewhere, and I must be careful now, because, yeah, okay, it's going to lie there, okay, so what do I need? I need a y intercept. So how can I get a y afsnit kry? I gaan maak vir x 0, so I get minus 6 op 2, x is 0, therefore y equals minus 3, so I've got that as 0 minus 3. Because this x x is folding the function in quite nicely, and the vertical asymptote as well, dit is dit nie nodig om nog een punt hier te kry nie, maar ek het daarom tenminste nog twee punte hier nodig. So I can pick my values, so that I can sub do substitution, Let's pick, if this is minus 2, let's pick minus 3, y equals minus 6, op minus 3 plus 2, en dit geef my minus 6 op minus 1, so dit is 6, so ek kan nie so sê, dit is die waarde, that what, minus 3, and plus 6, en dan kan ek dat nog sê, minus 8 kies, that will be nice, if I pick a minus 8, y equals minus 6, minus 8 plus 2 is minus 6, so this gaf my mooi 1 gee. So I, I can pick the values that I want to, and that's my hyperbola that shifted 3 u, 2 units, 2 units to the left. Bye, mooi
for my device. Ons gaan kyk na ons exponentiële functie, exponential function, and we look at that, uh, the standard equation of Crytek. Wat het hier gebeur? Ek het de A-waarde van 3, so hy het sy rugie lekker mooi recht opgetrek, and then, um, the Q, the Q value is now zero, so hy het nie op of afgeskuif nie, but what happened over here? There was a new parameter inserted there, and that's plus one. So what did all appear? The exponential function had in unit na links geskip. Because when p is negative, it moves to the right, and when p is positive, like over there, it moves to the left. So let's draw this one too. Ons weet dat hierdie exponentiële functie het nie op of afgeskuif nie, maar hy het een eenheid links geskuif. So met ander woorde, die horizontale asentoor bly die x-as, dus i is gelijk van 0, so that will stay the same because it didn't move upwards or downwards. So this function is going to look like this. So let's quickly work out our y-intercept. Our y-intercept, ons maak vir x 0. Y is gelijk aan 3 maal 2 tot die maak 0 plus 1. Kijk, daar het die like amper op van die grond staan, maar hy staan dan nie licht. Ok, so that equals 3 times 2 to the power of 1, and that gives me 6. So this y-value is now 0. So let's get a nice border there and a nice border there. So let's um, do minus 1. So as we see minus 1 an x plak sit, is it i is like a 3, 2 and minus 1 plus 1. That's going to give me 3, 2 to the power of 0 gives me 1. So this is minus 1, 3. And let's take just 1 over here. To make it as easy as possible, I is gelijk van 3 mol 2 to the mark 1 plus 1, that gives me 3, times 2 to the power 2, and that gives me 12. So daar so het ek nou, my exponentiële functie, en het baas soos die moeder functie, but you can clearly see that the i value, it usually goes through 1, now it goes through 6, because it's much steeper. En dan het hy nog 1 eenheid, een eenheid na links geskuif, because it's plus 1. So that's the movement then of the parabola, the hyperbola, and the exponential function, where we've got a parameter p. As p a plus is, dan skuif hy na links, en as hy minus is, dan skuif hy na rechts. Baie belangrijk. Nou kan ons oefening 1 gaan oefen. Sien jylle later.